Hey, what's up you guys? Mike McCabe here, and welcome back to another video. I am your host, Hit the Target 63 aka Michael McCabe, and lo and behold, who else am I being joined by than my own main man and brother, Legacy Black. Legacy Black. Say hello, man. Say hello. Hey guys, it's your boy Legacy Black, and I'm slowly turning into Krampus in human form. So let's go ahead and get the series started. That's right. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. And um, <clears throat> this time uh, we're going to be doing some regular Minecraft for once. We're actually going to be playing by the rules. And we're going to be doing proper survival. And look at that. The video started and it's already night time. <laughs> yeah, let's head to bed so we can... Yep. So the goal, the goal right now is we have to get ender pearls. Yeah, because he wants to uh, get to the end. <clears throat> so as I've been busy off camera getting yeah. farms and stuff set up. And this is going to be uh, the sequel to our last uh, Legacy Survival series that we did on the 360. So we wanted to, you know, revise that and, you know, actually play by Minecraft's proper rules. You see these plants here? These are not safe to touch, but um, they're a good defense against mobs, right? Yes. And speaking of mobs, uh, I just saw a zombie over there in a ditch. Hold on, I gotta... And I do apologize about the um, <clears throat> echo. Target run! But it's going after you, but this is a good demonstration. Oh, he stopped moving. Hit him again. Yeah, hit him again. Okay, watch this, guys. Watch this. Whoops. There we go. Watch that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Let me push him in. Oh, and look at that. It's raining. Ow. Yeah, I do apologize about that sound. But uh, just try to ignore it. So, what do you say? We're armored up. Ready to go. Let's go take a look in the uh, the nether. Yeah, cause uh, I haven't properly been into the nether before, but I have heard a gas around there. So uh, yeah, let's just be careful. Just make sure I have my um, inventory all <clears throat> organized. So um, by the way, guys, we've been doing some work off camera. And, um, you know, <clears throat> we just wanted to make sure we can do this properly. And here we are. Again, excuse the background noises. Whoa! Look at all that lava. And what is that up there? What? Up there. Uh oh. Did you hear that? Looks like blue trees. Oh, what's this? Oh, gray wool. Yeah, some sheep came through the portal. Oh, wow. I feel bad for them. We are in a very interesting location. Yeah, we are. Look at all this lava. And look at that creature down there. That's one that if you had a saddle, you could actually ride it through lava and get all the way up there. But I don't know how we're going to get up there. Yeah, see that creature right there? I forgot the name of it, but uh, apparently, if you have a saddle, you can actually ride on top of him. And get through. oh my God, there was an enderman over there. There was an enderman across the lava over there. He must have got through the portal. This is the first time I've ever seen an enderman in the Nether, because most of the time you see all of them in the end, of course. I'm just going to save that gray wolf for later and hopefully not die in the lava. So I'm going to stay crouched. So are these things friendly? Mm, they can be. As long as you don't attack them, they won't attack you. They're like pig, uh, pigmen and piglins. Oh boy. There's some uh, quartz right there. Yeah, I'd rather hear it in a bit. What type of... Uh, what type of tool do you need to uh, get it anyway? I forgot how to do it. I'm still a, a novice. So could it be anything, or do you need a specific uh, tool to get it? Quartz? Yeah. 
I believe you can just use a regular pickaxe. So. All right, so I'm going to grab some while I'm here. I just got to be careful to not fall into the lava and die again. Again, excuse the noise. I'm going to be saying that a while because we're going to try and get rid of it. Just try to ignore it. Yeah. Got to be careful because there's a ghast here. And it looks like... Sorry, uh, Target. That's all right. right. Target, she's taking over. All right. I'm going to go grab my car really quick. So all right. Lovely she's taking over. Yep. <clears throat> lovely. Okay. Be advised, we have a guest in the area. And we really, really don't want that guest to attack us. Like creepers, but they could. Yeah, except they shoot fireballs out their mouths. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Seems quite a few creatures has actually made their way through the portal. <laughs> Alright, Legacy will return until then. Abby will be taking over as temporary player. But she's useful. Whoa! Magma blocks! Uh oh. I can't touch that. Uh oh! Great. Oh boy, careful of those magma blocks. Oh boy. Watch out! Sorry. That's why I'm here in Fox, I can mine it. Oh boy. I do def I definitely don't want to burn myself on that. Oh, whoa! <laughs> that Enderman's on fire! Uh, but he's still trying to preserve himself by teleporting all over the place. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry if it's a little bit of a boring start, but uh, this is just how we have to uh, do our stuff. And again, sorry about that stupid echo sound. It's very annoying, I understand. I'm going to go through the portal and return this quartz before I die. Alright, I'm going to mute the TV for a minute. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. It's not your fault, Abby. Alright. I feel so bad. I feel like Zion would be so much better at narrating on this. Mm-hmm. Because uh, that's why I'm going to have him as a uh, co-host for the uh, 2022 uh, Mutant Monster Battle Tournament. Because we all know how Jakari gets whenever he... Uh, he gets upset? He, yeah, whenever he sees the Mutant Creepers lose. He gets he very... He gets very upset and very he just upset. stays negative the entire time. It's like impossible to cheer him up because that's why he's manager of that team. Oh boy. What am I going to do with him? Yeah, but we'll talk about him at a later time, so. Just got to wait for Legacy's little triumph for return. Well, who'd have thought? On the first episode, it's already raining. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna do what I can around here now until Legacy gets back. <clears throat> so, just to update you guys, um,. I may be inactive for a while, and I do apologize for that, but um, nothing's really been going on. I mean, since I had my fun at the battle at Narcusi Mill, and, you know, I was celebrating Confederate Memorial Day, nothing has really been going on. 
So I apologize for the lack of videos, but I do appreciate all of the uh, 614 subs that I have. And oh my goodness, what do we have here? We have a baby pig, a calf. Oh, fuck! I, I, I messed up. I said baby pig, but it's a baby cow. A calf. I'm sorry about that. My mind is going a little blank. So we have a calf here, and he was following a pig. And you know what? Just for that, the pigs have to die. Sorry. I need them for food and for XP. But the calf, the baby calf, gets to live. Because, well, you know, people would get on me if I killed a baby animal. <sighs> So I'm just going to take this supply and then get back inside and out of the rain. <clears throat> but yeah, I do appreciate all of those new subscribers who are new here. And if you are new, welcome. I do a bunch of different videos, not just on one thing, because I like doing, you know, different variety for you guys. Because if I do just one type of video, it's going to get very boring. And I probably wouldn't have gotten as many subs as I have right now. And I never dreamed of that, so all of those who are subscribed to me, thank you. It means a lot. So, just going to take that, cook up some more, and <clears throat> just continue on with our little stuff. And this is the first time in a while that we've ever actually, you know, played the game by its proper rules. All the other times we are just in creative and we have yeah, just been doing other stuff. Oh, we're talking about getting myself a heart attack. Yeah, why is that, Abby? Yeah. I almost mistake um, the pool wandering trader for a witch. <laughs> you? Yeah. How could you mistake a wandering trader for it's a witch? It's because I saw was that blue and it looked like green, but all my glasses are on. Green? I was like, no. It's because witches was wear purple. I know. It's because I like I saw that blue and it was blending over the grass. I'm sorry, I didn't mean green. It's okay, my mind's blinking out too. I'm tired. Yeah, glad to see I'm not yeah, alone. We all make those mistakes. Yeah. No offense on that. <laughs> no, that's fine. I'm taking. That's true. Yeah. Because, you know, nobody's perfect. Right. We all make mistakes. So, we learn from them. And we move on. Yeah. yeah Do you want to stay up this night? I do have um, a very special video planned for uh, tomorrow because tomorrow is Legacy's birthday. And oh, yeah. since he wished me a happy birthday on my recent birthday, I'm going to return the favor to him. <laughs> that's sweet. Because that's what brothers do. I'm happy Legacy has him in his life. I'm happy that I have him in my life as a brother because I... Biologically, never had any siblings, and I never had anyone else other than my main family who always was by my side. But now, me and him have hey, become like best pals. I was gonna say, if it drops that sword, I might lose him chance him. But it didn't drop. And it looks like we're coming up on the um, last few minutes here, and we saved a little discussion till this point, so... Yeah. You know what, since you just said his name, let's just talk about this right now. So, this is not going to be, you know, solely dedicated on him because I wanted to start this new series, but we have to bring this up. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I don't know if you guys have seen Jakari Williams' last video called My Top 5 Best Friends. Well, Xbox Friends, as he says. Let, let's go to bed, then we'll continue this um, conversation. So, let's talk about Jakari. Jakari, uh, well, he's half and half, but he's really been driving a wedge between me and him. And yet he, you know, accuses me. So I saw that video. On top of that, he says you're one of his best friends. So yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you guys. I had no idea who he was going to put on the list, but he put me at number four. And 
I just want to say that that was just kind of, you know, really messed up. Like, why? Why would you do that? And the reasons he the reasons he gave was because he tried to say that I caused trouble. That's not true. I'm just sticking up for myself because your other little friends, the two that you put above me, which they know who they are, which I won't say their names, because, you know... But you, it's practically like you're pushing me away and you were practically using me and you're prioritizing them over me. And yet you say it wasn't personal, but you're making this personal. On top of that, he just went ahead and talked some crap about you in the video too. Like, what's your take on this? I mean, I played the tape for you. Yeah, tell him, tell him. He seems super disrespectful. He has the audacity to call you his best friend, but then he's treating you like crap. Yeah, and in he, fact... Like, in that video, he's talking crap about you. Like, he placed me at number four, and then he placed four, my two enemies my... at number one and number two. Number one and number two. No, 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 and on top of that, no. If he really cared about y'all's friendship, he wouldn't be putting you in that position. Exactly. He wouldn't be, like, letting them go after you. Exactly, because he practically yeah. lets he those practically two idiots practice. come at me... And practically walk all over me, but he gets mad at me when I completely state the facts against him. And yet, he says, let the past go, get over it, it's in the past. Well, how is it in the past if, it's, if, if they're still doing it? Because they're still doing it to this day. That's why I cut them out of my life. But, and Jakar is just bringing them back in and starting more drama. Yeah, he thinks he can be this little peacekeeper, but sorry, there's no peace to be made. And because yeah, if he was really trying, he'd at least try to find some common ground for y'all. Yeah, but the only common ground he finds is for them, not me. Yeah. So, so honestly, yeah. it makes me mad the fact that he even decided to put you in the video, considering the way how he treats you. Like, yeah, so just, so like just for that... I gave that video a big fat thumbs down. He deserves it. No, I don't really care. He's talk to you about that later. He's get mad about it. Let him get mad because he told me not to get mad. Well, you've already made me mad enough times by trying to think you can make peace between me and them. No, you want to tell him about how many chances you gave him? Yeah, that other person that I'm talking about, I gave him over 12 chances and he blew it. So, I've had enough. So... I'm very close to being done with him, and I might as well just be done with him. I don't know. I'm just stuck between a rock and a hard place, so I'll update you guys on that later. So I'm going to talk about that in another video because we are about out of time. So un until next time, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, all of my 614 subs. And if you want to stay up to date, because we're going to be doing more videos on this, because this is Legacy Survival 2. We're going to be posting more videos hopefully soon when we get the time. But until then, we want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Drop a like. Drop a comment down below. Be nice or you're out. And till then, keep our pride raging. And I'll see you guys later on. Deuces.